Just get past all And all the times you looked at What's going on, world? Escrow Ray here, Simplicity Profits, man. I wanted to, I just want to kind of tap in. Um, one of my, one of the biggest things that I have maximized and learned to do as a day trader is how to, uh, is learning basically how to avoid losing opposed to just trying to win. Um, I think that's a lot of people's uh, mind state and a lot of people's focus is focusing on trying to just win. And, 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 and sometimes it can be, how do I win more than I lose? So one of the key things that I do, and I'm just going to kind of keep every video as simple as I, as I possibly can, the way that I do with my discord and my mentees, uh, I just keep everything so simple as far as what we're looking at. So it won't become a too much. So this is as today, this is SPX. And one of the biggest things I'm going to just show you guys today that can help you avoid and eliminate a lot of losses is know exactly how the market is going. If you if you're day trading, you don't understand the direction of the market. You're in the major you're in a heat of trouble. Genuinely off top, just because. It can eat it, it will easily switch on you, because if you're playing against the market, the market is going to have a full force in the direction it's going. It doesn't matter. Nothing else that you're looking at. I mean, it's a lot of things people like to look at and go through. I try my best not to. I eliminate as much possible as much as possible. So one of the things that I do, uh, and as you go, as we go through the journey, I explain a lot of the uh, things that you see on my chart. I really just like to focus on the candles, the candle movements. I use the Hakanashi candles because it gives the best, um, it gives the best best trend as it's going, opposed to you know the up and down that can pretty much psych you out. So as today, as we start here, this is XPX. I'm always looking at the 15 minute. To understand the direction of the market, I'm always looking at the 15 minute. I'm always looking at the 15 minute to understand the direction of the market. And and what I use key pieces is the three, and I use the eight, and I use the 21. Which, if you ever in my Discord, etc., you heard me call it the Messiah. So I use the Messiah because it's the strongest piece on the uh, the day trading chart. Nothing happens above or below without it saying so. And so this is what we're looking at as all of this is going. A lot of these I'm avoiding because they are testing. These are what we call of the Fibonacci's. And I will use them, you know, in, a, in another video, I'm going to go through and explain the details of those. But for now, just understand anytime something is testing these, it has the possibility to pull back. So these are running. When I made my entry, my entry would have been when it broke through the Fibonacci. I mean, when it broke through the Messiah right here, because this is the market trend. Anything above the Messiah, that means that it's going to be a bullish market. Bullish because it's going up, bearish because it's going down. So since it's going above the Messiah, it's going bullish. And we understand that it's going bullish. Anything below the Messiah is going bearish. So right here, as this is running up, I'm, I'm very cautious. I'm in it right here and I was in right here and I, I played a little bit lighter just because it was running. So I let it kept going. And this is a, something I explained in another video as far as like how to count counters, but that's what allowed me to stay in. But once it started to test of this level and I see it in break, I, I, went ahead, I went ahead and sold. Like I said, I'm not, doesn't matter how much I win. I just want to win. Uh, I'm avoiding losing. And so I went ahead and sold. So even when this pullback right here, which a lot of people like to try to catch these pullbacks, the direction of the market comes into play at these moments, because how you see this is pulling back is playing against the market. And the moment you play these at any given point of time, this can easily reverse how you see it's still testing of these levels. And just to keep it simple and detailed, just always knowing your mind, man, this is going against the market. So as long as it's going against the market, it has the possibility to pull it back on me. And that's what it's possibly going to do. And if it do run the way that I'm always play to avoid losing, I'm going to wait till it break back through the Messiah and go back in the bearish market. And if it don't, I'm just going to wait on this pullback and I'm going to catch that run back up. Hope this is very helpful to you guys. Just get past all, all the times you looked at. Oh. So you must get past all.